Hello, people of God. Today is actually <coughs> the 5th of February 2020. What an awesome God that we serve. Heaven and earth adore Him. Angels bow before Him. Today we are being taught or reminiscing on Abraham and Lot's journey to the promised land or to the promised place where God had uh, told Abraham about. He came to Abraham and he said, Abraham, walk before me and be thou perfect. I'm sending you to a place. And leave your, you know, your comfort zone and follow me to a place where I will show you. But then Lot, you know, why I'm bringing that is, the Bible says that there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. Lot chose out of his flesh. You know, he saw the the good things, you know, when Abraham gave Lot an opportunity to choose where, you know, he's supposed to stay, where they had gone, uh, Lot chose Sodom and Gomorrah, you know, based on his fleshly thinking. The Bible says our ways are not God's ways, neither our thoughts his thoughts. As high as the heavens is above the earth, so are God's ways above us and so are his, his thoughts above us. And so when we do not acknowledge him, as the Bible says in Proverbs 3, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Yes, you know, when we begin to uh, negotiate things into the in, in a fleshly way, when we begin to negotiate things in a, in a, in a, by our own thinking, by not allowing God to lead us, because He is there to lead us. He's there, the Bible says in Psalms, you know, twenty three that He leads us in a path of righteousness for His name's sake. So He comes to live in us, and He is the one that will be in charge. He will be the driver. He will be the captain of the sea, and He will be the pilot. You know, so that he leads us in the path of righteousness. Then we'll be able to choose, not out of the flesh. It might look ap appealing, you know, to our eyes. Oh, yes, it's all looking good. This place, you know, everybody looks good. Everybody dresses well. It seems like there's money there. There's a, you know, but it is, is it where God wants you to be? Because at the end of the day, we are not of our own, as Paul says. It's no longer us that live, but Christ that lives in us. When we become Christians and become and accept God, accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we no longer live our will, but the by the will of God. As we pray, Lord, we hallow your name. You are all in all, basically. You are Lord of all, all creation. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. May your will be done in our lives this day, bringing glory and honor and adoration unto your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Spirit. You are all you alone are worthy to receive glory. You alone are worthy to receive praise. We exalt you above every other God, above every other principal in Jesus.